Brennan, well done. That's, uh, that's a good point on New Year's Day, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good point. Um, we feel like we really go into the game and, and felt the atmosphere and really got going in the second half and had the chances to probably win the game. So a um, little bit disappointed, but we know it's a good point at the end of the day. A little bit disappointed at only drawing at home to Chelsea. That shows how far you've come, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think it's just the, the way we, we played in that second half. We got really aggressive with them and we're on the front foot. So uh, we probably had the chances and should have got more out of the game. But I feel like we, we all know it's a good point. Is the second half a result of anything that Steve Cooper changed at half time, or was that sort of always the plan, if you like, to kind of maybe, I don't know, take a bit of steam out of them first half and then hit them second half? Uh, yeah, a bit of both. I feel like we needed to be a bit more aggressive at half time, but at the same time, we knew that we couldn't go gun ho for the whole game. They have quality players and they, they probably would have played through it at some point. So I feel like once we got to half time in a relatively good place, we felt like we could go after them a little bit more. A weird goal that you were unfortunate enough to concede. I mean, that's a that's a bizarre turn of events, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was strange at the time. Felt like that ball could have gone anywhere, and it's just fallen right to to Sterling's foot. And at the end of the day, it's the, it's the luck that we get at this point. But we felt we we didn't let it get us down, and we kept fighting. Yeah, the, the start from from minute one in the second half, from second one almost in in the second half, you really turned it on and, and went at them. I don't think they had a shot in the second half. Yeah, I mean. Um, Definitely, we definitely stepped up at half time when there was a real change of, of aggression and felt like we were on the front foot. So hopefully we can keep playing like that and picking our moments. Uh, I spoke to Steve Cooper after the game at Old Trafford in midweek and he was talking about wanting you, you, his players, you, to, to kind of believe more, if you like. The performances like that in the second half, when you've, you've really put a really good team and really good players to the sword, that's got to help with that sort of thing, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think second half like that just show that we need to believe in ourselves because we can do it and we can make teams like Chelsea really struggle here. I mean, they didn't have much, many shots on target in the whole game and I feel like in the second half they really struggled against how aggressive we are. So I feel like we can take that positively and keep going with it. It's a lovely move to get you away down the right-hand side and you had that shot that, that Kepper kept out. Then the move to get Morgan set up, the shot that hits the underside of the bar. At that point, you're thinking, oh, it's not going to be our day. Uh, a little bit, but I feel like that's when we started the momentum. We started having more shots. Obviously, we threatened throughout the whole game, but I feel like that's when we had a real spell of good opportunities. And I felt like it was just a matter of time, to be honest. I feel like we had some really good territory in their half and we were unlucky not to score, obviously, with Morgs. I should have done better with my shot. And I felt like the time was coming, so when it did come, I felt like it was about deserved. Yeah. And it's it's always a great whenever anybody scores in the in the Premier League, it's a great moment, isn't it? But for Serge, that's a, that's a priceless moment. Yeah, I mean... Um, he hasn't had many shots this season, but I feel like he took that goal really well, to be honest, and it's what we needed. We needed a little bit of quality, and he brought it down well and finished it, so we're really happy that he's able to do that. Uh, now, of course, uh, home form is one thing, away form is another. You go to Southampton in, in just a few days, and you need to start picking up some points away, don't you, Bren? Yeah, definitely. I think um, we're no strangers. We know that um, our away form hasn't been good enough this season. We haven't picked up any wins yet and not many points. I feel like um, we need to raise it no matter where we go and I feel like Southampton is a good opportunity for us to, to try and change that. I feel like um, after a good performance today we can take com confidence and go into the next game. It's a huge game, isn't it? I know they all are in the Premier League, but when you look at the, the foot of the table and you look at that relegation zone, Southampton away is massive. Yeah, it is massive and we all know that, uh, but we all know at the same time it's going to take a good performance to beat them. We don't just rock up there and and get anything for free. We know it's going to be a tough game because any game in the Premier League is tough. They have really good players as well. So I feel like we're going to have to take that performance into the next game and, yeah, be real clinical as well. I know it's been tough away from home. It's tough really for anybody away from home. It's tough for Chelsea away from home uh, against Forest. So um, I, I just wonder what you need to do to, to get results away from home. What what do you have to do? Is it is it a question of just concentrating, defending better? Or, or what is it? Yeah, a little bit of everything, I think. I think you need a bit of everything for the perfect away performance. But as we said earlier, it's the belief you need, a belief to win away from home and take points away from home. I feel like it's something that we've lacked this season, obviously not getting enough points away. But, um, yeah, if we can keep that belief that we've taken into this game and um, hopefully show more of that on, on the next game as well. well. Good luck, Brennan, and Happy New Year. Thank you very much, you too.